Wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. I hope so. Can't stand being caught up there. The endless crashing of the waves. The sting of the salt in my eyes. And the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. Well, that's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. I hear tell the French are ready to move in our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before week's end. What we have here is a failure to show respect. You are not using these funny paper things. Oh, yes. Oi! Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now... I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? You're hurt. Oh, that's nothing. Here. I should stop the bleeding. That wasn't necessary. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready.
Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. Hmm. I can hide in that cart. Whiskey, a couple of dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching, blankets, a cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Sabotage them. solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Stop! General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. Better ways to waste my time. There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't sit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes them careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. <laughs> Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. <laughs> 